Regular farm, regular farm partners. Look at you selling. We're selling mine, Thomas. You need to shoot. You again. I think he's going back. Oh,
say on behalf of the family I would like to thank all of you for coming here again today. This is our second day and uh, thank God the good Lord was with us and we had beautiful sunshine so thanks to him first of all for giving us a beautiful day because last week we had rain as most of you remember but today it's been great so thank you very much for coming. Thanks in a special way again to our ladies, the catering ladies. I hope you all enjoyed your tea and if you did give them a round of applause. Once again, we had the great privilege of having Neil McLaughlin with us for our second day. Last week he played from quarter past two until half five, totally voluntary, and went off then to play in Dunfanaghy. He has to do likewise tonight, and again play totally voluntary for Foyle Hospice. So I know most of you didn't get in to enjoy the dancing as much as what you would have done last week, but Neil, we are totally indebted to you for being here and thank you very, very much. As I said last week, if any of you do have an occasion to meet a musician, please do put your business towards Neil because he's a great guy. And again, when he does so much work for charity, I think it's nice if you have an occasion to have somebody that you need to get a good musician there. Have Neil, you can talk when he plays, there's no problem, and he's a great entertainer. Again, Neil, thank you very, very much. The next gentleman on my left is a guy you hear behind a microphone. And his name is Jim Whitehead from Inchil Community Radio. Jim has done tremendous work in advertising for Open Day last year and also this year. And I'm delighted that he's with us at the end. Thank you very much for all your support and for the great work that the show community radio does for people. It's a lot of fun and a lot of fun. It's a great start. So do listen to Jim has been talking about a lot of you during the course of today and that interview will be going out live tomorrow evening. Five to seven tomorrow evening. So on that note, I'm going to hand you over to Jim. He's going to do the draw. And thank all of you for coming. Thank your local media. Charlie Giblin was here earlier for Inish Times. And thanks to everybody for coming. It's been a great day. We have enjoyed it. On behalf of the family, thank you very, very much. Mary's here. My mum's there somewhere. Wherever, down there, sorry. My mum's the quiet one in the family. Thanks to everybody for coming. Thanks to Hugh Quirk. And to everybody who helped in any way. There's too many to thank individually, but thank you very, very much for all of it. And you'll get the complete breakdown, and uh, on behalf of Foyle Hospice, Dr McGinley said thanks very much as well. So over to Jim Whitehead from Inishon Community Radio. First of all, I'm very um, privileged to be here today. Uh, I'm very thankful to the Doherty family for inviting me to do this draw. Um, and I'm delighted to see so many people enjoying the Doherty Gardens here in Desert Technique. Now, um, of course, um, I'm, a, <coughs> I'm a man of very few words, actually, for somebody who talks on the radio. <laughs> I'm very good at microphone, I'm not very good at public. Um, you know that the draw today, there's two separate draws. We're going to the first draw will be the 10 items. There's 500 litres of uh, heating oil, a 200 euros in cash, a meal in the Strand Hotel in Balladiffin, a meal in the Foyle Hotel in Moville, 50 euro a voucher for St. John's restaurant in Bunkrana, 50 euro cash, a CD of Daniel O'Donnell, that's a signed CD by the way, a keeper's item, an eclectic item, a bottle of whiskey and wine and chocks, a box of chocolates and whiskey and wine again. We did a 10 items for it. The first number is the uh, card number seven. And the line is number 21. Yes. Um, 
Jackson. Is that Jackson here?